Hello. So this is another example of using Kirchhoff's uh, loop rule in a very simple circuit that involves a source of EMF and a load resistor, but this time I am including uh, something that involves an internal resistance. Okay. Once again, the diagram is given to us, and so are the directions of the current. Now in some problems, they may ask you to determine the direction of the current based on just looking at the diagram of the battery alone. In this case, we're given showing that it moves from the smaller plate to the bigger plate, as it always should be. Okay? So let's go ahead and analyze this one. Now that we're given internal resistance, once again, I can use um, formulas for the loop rule where the sum of all the potential differences for each component, including this internal resistance, is equal to zero, or uh, the sum of all the voltage rises supplied by any battery or source it should equal all the potential drops. But I prefer using uh, this formula right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use that one. And either one that you use, uh, you should get the same formula. Okay, so the sum of all the potential differences, there's the depending on which way you're going. Now, if you look at all the directions of the current, you can clearly see that we're actually going uh, clockwise from directions there. And since I'm moving the same direction as the, the battery, then it is a positive EMF, okay, positive voltage. And going across any resistor, it would actually use up that energy so that would result, it's the same current since it's all connected in series, in a voltage drop. And it has small r for internal resistance. But as it goes across, right there, to the resistor, the load resistor, there will be another potential drop, and now with big R. And all of this, following the rule, equals zero. Okay? And once again, I just erase that part, I'm just going to use, I just need that part of the equation, and I'm going to move these two to the other side by adding them to both sides of the equation. Remember, whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do on the other. Okay, and so that cancels out, and I get the equation. Okay, so I have I in common, okay? And so I'm going to factor that out to get R plus R. And so this is a formula where the EMF um, is equal to the resistance from the load resistor and the internal resistance alone. Now, depending on how much load resistor, usually you have your load resistor really big um, to counter the effects of the internal resistance. So if this is really big, then this almost disappears and becomes zero. Okay? And if you look at that, it almost, if this becomes really small, it still goes back to becoming Ohm's law, since E is still uh, measured in the same units, volts. Okay? So once again, we're starting with a simple example. We'll go to the more complicated ones in other videos. Stay tuned. Okay? Ciao.